Okay, so Mr. Malik, everybody, so let's start. So uh, as I told you last time in in this chapter, uh, in this chapter, I'm going to make like a review on some basic concepts in net networks because in the next chapter, I'm going to build on, on this chapter, okay? So I explain to you what we mean by protocol because when we talk about network, in network, we use too many protocols. So the word protocol, we use it all the time, okay? Uh, then I explain when I see communication link, what this means. Uh, also, I explain what routing means, what route means, uh, something about different transmission modes, uh, LAN, MAN, WAN, that's what I explained last time. And also I explain uh, network is providing a service and we need to measure the quality of the service. And there are different ways to do that. Last time I explained, one way to do it is the packet delivery ratio. This is one way I explained it. Uh, yeah. And also I explained why, why when you send a packet, what do you mean by a packet? So I'm gonna explain later what I mean by packet. It's today I'm gonna explain it. Packet means if you have a big message, I'm gonna cut this message into pieces. And every piece, I'm gonna put it in a packet and send it, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why we do that. So a packet can be like a message or a piece of message, okay? Anyway, so uh, so here, packet delivery ratio, okay? For sure, we wish if this ratio is 100%, every every packet you transmit is gonna be get delivered. I will be happy if, if this is the case. But as I told you last time, this is not the case because of uh, congestion, as I explained last time, and to because of also channel impairment. Also, I explained transmission speed or throughput. Sometimes we call it bandwidth, throughput, whatever. How many, how how much data you can transmit in one second? Speed, okay? Uh, also, delay. We exp we talked about delay. And here, I listed several, several reasons of delay. Why? When you transmit a packet, it's, it's not... There is, is there is a delay, okay, to get it delivered. And after that, I told you, I made it very clear that you don't need to do all in all these metrics, okay, but it depends on the application. For example, in case of file transfer, or in case of an email, if you send an email, do you care if your email is delayed one second or half a second? No, I don't care. So this metric is not a big deal for me. It's not gonna be delayed one day. We are talking about microsecond, millisecond, very little time, so I don't care, okay? However, the delay may be a big deal in some things like if, if something interactive, like voice over IP and so on. So every application should have some restriction. If you want to receive a good service, this is my, the network has to give me these metrics, okay? I need, I need this kind of, of, uh, of service, okay? Anyway, so today I'm gonna also continue teaching some basic concept in networks. So here I'm gonna explain, we have two types of communication. Now, we have two types of communication. One is called client and server. The other one is called peer-to-peer. -peer. All what you want you to understand, what do you mean by, if, again, these are very important, we use them all the time. All what you, I want you to know is, what do you mean by client and server? When I tell you it's this kind of communication, it's client and server. When I say peer to peer, you need to understand what it, what it means, okay? You know, client and server actually this is something we use it all the time. This is when you communicate to a server, okay? Your email is in a server, okay? For example, if you wanna if you wanna see a certain website like CNN or any other website, it is in a server. You got what I'm saying? So the type of the communication here is we, you, 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 you connect it to a server in order to download a data from this server. This data can be an email, it can be a file, it can be a web page, and so on. Is that okay? So, so the main characteristic of this of this kind of communication is number one: the communication the, the communication starts as as I'm writing here. The communication always starts from the client, all the time. Server is not going to start the communication. So it's all the time started from here. Number two, uh, oh, this server has to be on all the time, always on, 
اوكي usually this server has should have much more resources competition resources than the clients this is okay that's what i'm saying here they have to be as uh, most of the work should be done by the servers uh both client and servers are dedicated to their tasks so they are not going to reverse what they are doing you got what i'm saying uh and i give you several examples here so this this kind of communication we call it client and server all what i need from you to understand when i say it's a client of server what it means okay the second one we call it peer to peer and you can tell from the english name peer peer what peer means equal we are equal we are the same okay peer okay so peer to peer so peer to peer here as you see for example just a computer is communicating with another computer okay this is something like skype uh, or, or BitTorrent or something like vo voice of over IP or BitTorrent for file sharing, something like that, okay? So here we have two computers. This computer roughly, roughly have the same power. So it's the same power, it's the same computational power. But for sure in case of server, because this server has to serve too many clients, so this server ha should have much more competition than the clients, okay? Uh, so each, each, so here, any one of them can start as a communication, okay? Uh, and also, uh, uh, yeah, so, 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 and so, so here, and every, so here, so any one of them can start as a communication uh, and they approximately do the same service to each other, okay? So is that, is that clear the difference? Okay, anyway. The second thing, any question here between client and server, and so it depends on what what, what application what what you are doing. You got what I'm saying? So it can be client and server, or it, or it can be uh, peer to peer. Is that okay? I just yeah, because we use these terms all the time in networks, so you, you need to understand what what they mean. Okay. The other thing here also in network to to make a network, we use some some devices. Uh, these devices like repeaters, like a switch, gateway, routers. Okay, so here I want you to understand what are the difference. Okay, how what are the difference between repeaters, switch gateway, and routers? Okay, I'm not sure. Have you studied this before? So you know them, you or little bit, or you do, or you never heard about switch and routers before. A switch is okay, but repeater is okay. Anyway. That's okay because the repeater is a very simple device. I'm gonna explain it right now. Okay. So anyway, so these are devices, guys. We use it in 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 network. So let's start with the very. So they are gonna be. We start here. The very simple device is what we call a repeater. Very simple. Very simple device. So what this device is doing, you can tell from the English name. Okay. So actually, here when you send, for example, if you send a signal this way here, it's normal that after a certain distance. This network, this this signal is gonna be weak. It's gonna be something weak. You got what I'm saying? So it's gonna get it's gonna get weaker. It's gonna get smaller. So so if if I wanna extend to this pass, if I wanna extend to this wire, I have to put a repeater here. What this repeater is doing is actually is gonna amplify and re amplify and reconstruct the signal again. You got what I'm saying? So that this signal can drop, travel longer longer this. That's it. So very simple device. This device doesn't need to have a CPU. It doesn't need to be a computer. Just what this device has to do is just repeat, amplify the signal, and reconstruct it. So uh, it's gonna the input of this device is just a very weak signal, and then it's gonna amplify this way. Okay. So that this this one can travel more. You got what I'm saying? By this way, I can put another repeater here and put another wire, uh, another uh, bus. I put repeater and the bus and so on. Okay. Anyway. Now let's talk about the second one. We call it a switch, okay? So a switch is, is completely different from this one. The switch should have a CPU. It has to do some processing. It has a RAM. So it has to store a frame. So this one is, is, is gonna see the input like a signal, just a voltage. But here you have to store like a, a frame what we call a frame or a packet. So it has to identify the frame, it has to store a frame, and it has to forward the frame, okay? Okay, so why, and uh, and so, uh, and also we use the switches in order to connect to computers, okay? 
if in the same lane, as in sorry, in the same lane. Okay. So that is why we say that a switch is actually a second layer device. When I say second layer, I mean the link layer device. Because this device is gonna work in on uh, in, in the second layer. Okay. I want to tell you some, something very important. I'm going to clarify, or it's going to be clear later, uh, that what happens actually is, and you will see it uh, in clear in this course, OK. So what happens is that, guys, the internet is actually, you call it network of networks. It's a network of networks. So what this means, okay? And uh, it's gonna be clear. Actually, this is the way the internet is made, okay? We have here a network. This network, our, sometimes if you wanna call it sub-network, whatever you wanna call it, okay? So it's, it's a, a network or a lane, okay? So this network, we have some computers here. These computers are connected together using switches. So if this computer wanna talk to this computer, the switch will, will forward it, okay? So, and then, uh, so, oh, and here we need the second layer, only only un until the second, the second layer, okay? And now, if you have another lane, another lane, so we have different lanes this way, okay? So, uh, and then we put here a router, a router in order to connect, in order to connect this, this lane to this lane. Also we put here a router, to connect this land to this land. And we put here a router to connect this land to this land, okay? So what happens is that if a computer wanna, wanna communicate with another computer, we, we you use a switch. So switches are used to connect to computers in the same lane, okay? But if, you, if, if one computer wanna talk to another computer in a different lane, in this case, you, we have to use routers. Routers similar to the switches, they actually store and forward Buckets, okay. So I have to receive a bucket. I have to identify the bits of this bucket, okay, and then I have to forward it, okay. Uh, and almost they work almost the same way, somehow very close to each other. However, this one is used only to connect to computers in 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 the same lane, but the router can connect can connect the co computer in in lane to any other any other lane, okay. Uh. So actually what happens, for example, if you have if you have a switch here, for example, okay, for example, if you send a packet, if computer A wanna communicate to computer I. So all what you have to do is that when you when you send a message here, okay, any message should have two parts. So let me also explain this part because that's what we are gonna do. Look here, guys, and I'm gonna justify why. Okay, if I wanna send a message, if I wanna send this message from one computer to another. But what usually we do, and I'm going to justify why, okay? If this message is big, and this is always the case, if it is big, what we do, we actually cut, cut it into pieces. For example, here, I'm going to make a simple, simple example. I'm going to cut into three pieces. For example, it can be more. Is that okay? And then what happens, I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to, I'm going to put it in what? Bucket, sometimes it depends on the layer. Sometimes you call it a bucket, frame, a data gram, or whatever. So it has different names, but it's the same concept. It's a packet, okay? Uh, so what happens here, this data, I'm gonna put the data here. Sometimes we call it payload, is that okay? And then in order for this data to get it delivered, I have to put some information, right? I have to tell the network, this data is coming from here and it has to go there. Okay, so that's why we put it in the header here. So we put it in the header here. So in this header here, we put what we call control information. This, can, for example, control information can be the source, who is the center, the destination, who is the destination. Is that okay? It can be other information, like, like for example, because, because now you cut the message into pieces, and then I'm gonna, we are gonna reassemble the message again. Okay, not only that, this, this pieces may not may be delivered, delivered in order. So this one, this one may be delivered before this one, and this one may be delivered before this one. So how, how I can reassemble it in, in, in a correct way, how I can do that? Very simple. 
number. You have to use a sequence number. Is that okay? So and um, so I'm gonna put here. This is number one. Okay. Same thing. This one is gonna be in another bucket, and then I'm gonna put here information. This is this is number two. I'm gonna put this one in a message, and then I'm gonna say this is number three, and then I'm gonna send same. Okay. Maybe they are gonna take different routes. Maybe some of them are gonna be dropped, and in this case. Uh, for sure, if one of them is dropped, I'm not going to be able to re reconstruct the message. I'm going to miss, miss, miss one, one part. So in this case, uh, the destination can ask the center to transmit this packet again. You get what I'm saying? So I need to have all of them. Maybe I'm going to get number three before number two and so on. So I have to re reorder them and then I have to reconstruct the message again. This is how it works. But why you do this way? You have a message. Why, why, why is not send it, just send the whole message to get it? It's not a good idea. I'm going to tell you why. But this is how it works, OK? So I'm going to give you more details on this one. But for now, for example, if I want to send, if I want to send the message here from computer A to computer I, the message is here. I have to put here some information, like I am I. I is sending, A is sending to I. Then it has to go to the switch, okay? The switch has to decide, should I send this packet this way or this way, okay? Because it has link, it has a link, you see? So it has to send this way or that way, is that okay? How's, how the switch can decide that? Very simple. The switch has a table, has a table. In this table, it is written in link one number one, in link number one, we have computer A, B, C. In link number two, I have computer C, D, E, and so on. Is that okay? So what happens, this switch has to look at the destination here, okay? So the destination is actually computer number I. And then I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to the table here. And then I'm gonna see I, so it has to go three, it has to go through number three. So I'm gonna send it this way. Is that okay? So number one, I have to receive the whole, the whole frame or packet, whatever you want to call it. Number two, I have to check or have to do some processing. I have to see where is the destination. I have to check my table to see if where is computer I. Is that, should I send here or here or wherever? Okay, so I, for, and then I have to go this way. Is that okay, guys? Yes. Yeah, so if, if we talk about like, what, um, Unicast, uh, unicast transmission, so from one computer to another computer. So in this case, the answer is no. You got, you got what I'm saying? So here we have only one sender and we have one receiver. But if you have multicast, so multicast means one sender, but more than one receiver, okay? So you, you may have a protocol like that. You got, you got what I'm saying? So Say so that. that. Yes. Yeah. So it has to go this way. And then we have another switch here. It's going to decide if it has to go this way or that way. You got what I'm saying? Because we have two levels of switches. Yes. So here, yeah. All, all, any packet to uh, transmit it to I, H, G for, for this switch has to go this way. Okay. And then this switch can decide it goes this way or this way or that way. Is that, is that okay? So so here, the sw so every switch should have a table, a table. This table has to tell wh wh where where are these computers are connected so that when I receive a, 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 a packet, I can know if I should transmit this way or that way. Or th is that okay? There should be a protocol to create this table. And this table has to be updated all the time. What if one computer is off? What if one computer joins the network? You, a new computer joins the network. So this, this, so this table is not static. It has to be updated all the time. Yes, there are some protocols that, that do that. Very simple. When a computer joins, a so computer is going to broadcast a message to everybody. Say, hello, I joined the network. Network, Please add, add me to the table. Very simple. So a certain message, I can tell everybody, hello, I arrived. Please, please add me to the table. So that's what you have to keep in mind. This table has to be updated uh, all the time, okay? One more thing, very important thing here. Here I'm telling computer A, computer B, computer C. So what this means, what A, B, C, it's a name. It's like your name, you got what I'm saying? So every computer should have a unique identifier, okay? In order for addressing, 
if, if I want to send, if I want to send a message to someone, someone, I have to use his name. And this name has to be, but here is not a name. Here it's a number identifier. Okay. So, and this number has to be unique, unique here in the lane. This number for sure. Two computers cannot have the same identifier. Makes sense, right? Otherwise, when I transmit a packet, where this packet has to go to this one, or it, both of them have the same name or the same identifier. Is that okay? So, so every one of them should have a unique identifier for addressing. Can anybody tell me what is the name of this identifier? MAC address. That's correct. So we call it the MAC address. Yes. So every device should have a unique number. We call it the MAC address. Okay. Um, by the way, by the end of this section, you will. Um, I'm going to talk about three different types of addresses. I'm going to talk about MAC. I'm going to talk about IB address, and I'm going to talk about port port numbers. Okay. All of them are identifiers, identifier or ad addresses, but they are used in different layers. They are used for different purposes. So here, uh, the one that is used inside the lane inside uh, the LAN is actually the MAC address. Is that okay? We are, I'm gonna tell you later how can we use this tool. Any question? Yeah, sure. Um, then, then, um, can you, um, yeah, you can. Yes, yeah. so that's a very good point. So I think what you wanna say is that, can I use, if this is a, a LAN, okay? If, if, if can can I communicate here? Even if 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 the router is not is 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 not working, the answer is yes. You got what I'm saying? It happened to my institution several years ago. There was um, a breakdown in the router. The router was not working, but still you can access the computers in, inside the institution itself. But you cannot talk to the uh, external world because the, the switches should actually connect the computers in the same lane together. Okay, but the router should connect this land to the external world. You know what I'm saying? Yes, the answer is yes for sure. Yes, sure. No, I. So the bucket I'm going to say, I'm the source A, the destination is I. And then I'm going to send it to the switch. Okay, the, 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 for, for example, First, it has to go this switch first. This switch knows that if I, so it, it, I is not here, so it's gonna send I to this one. This one knew, knows that I is here, so it's gonna transmit this way. You got what I'm saying? So all what I need is just the address, okay? The second thing here, router. Again, the router is very, very close. It's almost the same idea here, but there are some dif differences, number one. The router is used to connect one lane to, to external world. So actually, maybe there is one router here. This router may be connected to different lanes. We have different lanes here. So if you, if I want to send, you want to send a packet to a computer here, for example, so the router has to know that it has to go this way or that way or this way. Is that okay? So yes, it's almost the same idea, but there are some differences between switch and routers. The first difference is, the router is used in the third layer, layer number three, okay? Uh, layer number three is responsible for connecting compu uh, computers in one lane to another, another lane. Uh, also, instead of using the MAC address, we are gonna use what we call IP address, okay? There are big, as, I, as I'm gonna explain in this chapter, Bo both of them are identifier, MAC or IP, they are identifiers. They should be unique, unique number. Is that okay? So how they are different, they different in that the MAC address has to be unique inside the lane. No computer should have the same number inside the lane. Is that okay? IB address has to be globally unique, globally unique. You got what I'm saying? Uh, this is one difference between them. The MAC address is used by, by switches in layer number two the IP address in, is used in layer number three to connect a computer in one LAN to any other LAN, okay? More importantly, and that's what I'm gonna explain it, more importantly, guys, can anybody tell me one of the major differences between IP address and MAC address? What is that? 
Maybe it's not a very big deal. Uh, no, I. It's it's not this is not the main thing here. The main thing is the MAC address is actually flat, but the IB address should have hierarchy. You know what I mean by hierarchy? What I mean by flat? Have you heard this one before? Okay. In, uh, it's gonna be clear in chapter. I'm gonna explain in one of the chapters here when I when I explain the third layer. Okay, but but let me for now explain it, okay? Switch. Usually in switch, we don't have a, prob a problem because in, in, we don't have many computers here. So I'm not worried, listen to me, I'm not worried about the size of the table, okay? I remember, this table should have addre the addresses and the output. So for example, if, if, if here in output number two, addresses D, E, F, you got what I'm saying? In, in, in if addresses I, H, G should be in, 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 in output number three. Is that okay? Usually I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about, about the size of the tip because usually we don't have too many devices here. But for IB, how many devices we have globally? Billions of devices, especially with, with, with IoT. Okay, by the way, when I say a computer, I don't mean laptop. I don't, I don't mean only, only laptop or only desktop, okay? Your smartphone is a computer. If you have a small IoT device connected to the internet, it's a computer. You got what I'm saying? It has IP address and so on, okay? So anyway, so usually the problem is router, router. We have billions of computers. Should I record in, in, in the routing table of the router? Should I record the billions of IBs? It doesn't make sense, okay? It's not, it's not scalable, okay? So how we do it? So that's why this one is flat, okay? Again, you are not, you are not gonna understand what I mean by flat until you understand what I mean hierarchy, okay? Because this one does not have hierarchy. It's just a number, random number. But this one has hierarchy. So what I mean by hierarchy is, now we have a problem. The problem is if, if I make IB flat, so the router has to store billions, billions of IB addresses. For example, in the output, I'm, I'm gonna say it now, okay? Let me finish it. So here, for example, this is a router. We have output, several outputs here. So in the table here, I have to say address, all these addresses, I'm going to write here many millions of addresses. I'm going to say all of them should come out of number one. Okay. So for sure, this is not re re uh, possible if we have too many, too many addresses. Is that okay? So the way we do it, guys, is similar to our physical addresses. The mailing addresses. It's the same idea. In our mail address, we have hierarchy. What do you mean by hierarchy? I'm going to tell you what I mean. Usually, number one, the first part of your address, you have to say the country. The first part, you have to tell me what, what is the province or the state. Province or state, okay? And then next part, you have to tell me what is the city. And then you have to tell me which street. And then you have to tell me the number. That's what I mean by hierarchy. So it's very simple. I'm gonna say any, any packet that or any any letter that has to go to a certain country, so I'm gonna output it from here. So all all these countries are gonna be outputted from here. It's the same idea, but not not gonna be like country or city or state. It's gonna be a certain number. You got what I'm saying? So here there is. So that is why uh, what what the router is gonna do is that I'm not gonna record. I'm not gonna write every single IP in 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 the table. I'm not gonna write all of them. All what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, if this part, if this part of the IB, if this part of the IB is equal, a certain value, 110, one, whatever, a certain value, so all of them are going to go out of this output. So I'm not going to record all of them. I'm going to record if this part, if this part is 110, one, I'm going to output it. Anyway, so this will be clear. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm saying in case of IB, it's going to be like it has hierarchy, okay? And this is a... This is very important for scalability. So I, I'm not going to record every single IB. 
اوكي نسيت اوف كل كل سين انا كده شفت دايما كتير ديس بار هاد 110 اوكي سو هات تو جو ذيس واي اند ذيس يو جوت ا سين ان كيس اوف ماك 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 از فلات اوكي فلات مينز ذير از نو هايراركي لايك ذيس واي جاست ا نمبر اوكي جاست ان واي سو اجين ام جن اتس جن بي كلير ليتر ام جن اكسبلين ان مور ديتيلز ليتر But again, here I just want you to understand the difference between. Uh, okay, let me let me let me give you conclusion here. Okay, number one, a switch and router. Both of them should receive a complete packet, and then both of them should decide if this packet has to go this way, this way, or this way. Is that is that okay? The the main difference is switch is used in in layer number two. A switch is used uh, to connect to computers in one lane. Uh, routers are used to connect globally anywhere. You get what I'm saying? Uh, also, in case of a switch, we use what we call MAC addresses. MAC addresses. In in case of uh, routers, we use what we call uh, IP addresses. And MAC addresses are flat, just random, uh, just just numbers. Uh, but uh, there should be hierarchy in the IP address. Okay, and I told you the reason for that. If 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 there is no hierarchy. So the routing table is going to be too long. So I have to record every single address. Okay. One, one major difference as well is, by the way, very important difference between them. Uh, also, the MAC address, it, sometimes we call it physical address. The MAC address, we call it physical address. Why? Because every computer has only one MAC address. So when I so now when I when I join the network here, uh, this this laptop has a MAC address. When I leave the university and return home, I'm, this device is going to have the same MAC address because the MAC address is going to be decided by the company that manufactured the wireless module used here in this laptop. You got what I'm saying? Okay, that's why it's called physical. However, however, now when I when I when when I am not connected now to the internet, I have an IB. When I go home, I'm going to have a different IB. Because IP is related to the location. When you change your location, you change your IP. You got what I'm saying? But Mac, Mac is fixed. It's 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 related to the device. You got what I'm saying? Um, anyway, so that's what I'm explaining here. Usually, uh, usually you have a network here. We use the switches to connect the computers together. This may be the university university mail server, okay, and then all this computer can communicate together. However, if you want to if you want to communicate with the external world, if you want to communicate with another device, another server that is not in this network, in this case, you should connect to a router. Is that okay? Any questions? The other device we have here, we call it a gateway. Okay. So what is the difference between gateway and what we explained? Gateway is a more complicated device. Gateway is used if you want to connect two networks that use different two protocols, different, different uh, communication protocols, even different architecture. So it's, it's a smarter device. It has, after it receives the best, it may need to, after I receive the message, I have to get the data and I have to put it in a different protocol. So maybe I'm, I'm not going to only store the packet and forward it. I'm going to make a new packet because this network is using a different protocol to here. So if, you, if I just relay, if I release a message from here, this network is not going to understand it because it's, it's using a different protocol. Okay, so that's why this one should be more complicated device. Anyway, uh, uh, any, any questions? Can't be the same router to do that. Can, can what? Can you use the router as a gateway? No, because all the router is the router is not gonna receive a packet, okay? All of them gonna do, okay? Here, I'm gonna look at the address. What is the explanation? I'm gonna check my uh, my uh, my table and then I'm gonna decide it goes this way or that way. That's it. Okay? I'm not I'm not gonna change the format of the packet. I'm not gonna change the format. You got what I'm saying? Because the other network, the other network will understand it because the two networks use the same protocol. But here, if I just forward the packet, you got what I'm saying? If I just forward the packet, this network is not going to understand it. So maybe I, I have, 
I have to go, I have to go to the up, even the, uh, to the upper layers. I have to get the data, and then I have to put it in a different format, different protocol. You got what I'm saying? That's why this one is more advanced one. Okay. It is used between different networks. Okay, it's used different protocols. Yes. Five, no, five and six should be compatible, but if you use, if you use different protocols, you got what I'm saying? So the format of the message here is different from for, format of the message in the other network. You got what I'm saying? For example. No, because five and six, almost it's, it's the same. It's usually they are compatible. You cut what I'm saying? So what I mean is the format almost the same, but they just add, add more stuff. You see? So if you, even if you still use six, it's still it's compatible with five. If it's not compatible and they are different and you need to change everything completely, I'm saying if the protocol completely different, you cut what I'm saying? The format of the protocol is completely different. You cut what I'm saying? But usually if you have one version and you have another version, it's usually the new version is compatible with the other one. You cut what I'm saying? No, this one, this one is, it can be, it can be also in, in this one is good if you want to connect any two networks, okay, and they use, they are different, they use different protocols, you got what I'm saying? Uh, this, okay. No, the, for, the format, the format of the message itself, you got what I'm saying? The format of the packet. You got what I'm saying? So if you use a different protocol, the format of the packet itself uh, is gonna, if you use a different different, uh, different protocol, so the, for, the packet itself, the format will be different. You got what I'm saying? So, but, but, so this is, you can think this one, okay. A switch is used to connect the computers in the same way. Router is used to connect the computer in different ways. Is that okay? But gateway is used just to, to make like transform, transform from one protocol to another. Because these two networks are using, you may not need it. You get what I'm saying? If all the networks are using the same protocol, you, you may not need it. Anyway, so the, the next part here, I wanna talk about uh, the internet uh, 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 network architecture. But before I do that, let's, let's, let's take the attendance. So you have five minutes, it's five, two, one, nine. Five, two, one, nine. Five two one nine. Okay. So <clears throat> okay. Five two, let me write it here. Five two one nine. Okay. So now let's move to the, in case of the internet. So actually I can say it has two main parts as we see here. One part, we call it access network, access network. The second part, we call it the core, the core network, the core, or we call it the backbone network, okay? So let's, for here in the access network, in order to connect to the internet, you have to connect it to a network, okay? For example, here, in case of if 
sell your network or home network or in case of here in Qatar University, uh, institution network. Okay, so here, uh, that's what you call access network. So your computer has to connect it to a network. And actually, so we have here the backbone, uh, backbone or the a cool network. So as you see here, the backbone is just a, a is routers, switches. They are, are, it's just a bunch of routers. They are connected together so that if 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 there is a message from this network is going to be transmitted to this network it can it can do that so two parties here okay so actually here the backbone here is actually the internet service provider internet service provider okay so let's start first with the access network actually we have different options for access network for example it can be res residential access network it can be ethernet the Ethernet is a cable. You know the cable you connect to the cable. This is Ethernet. Or it can be wireless access network, Wi-Fi. Okay. Or it can be you uh, uh, or it can be like uh, an institution network. So in the residential access, usually we use sky fiber optics because fiber optics are very fast at home. Okay. So that's why you can see videos. That's why we have a very high speed uh, at home. So what happens here, when you connect to the internet, you connect it to a fiber optics uh, network. Uh, the second thing here, ethernet, as I told you, ethernet cable, when you connect a cable. So here, and ethernet, it has some speeds, as certain speeds. Uh, in this case, we use a cable to connect, to connect your computer using a cable. And then, uh, and then, and then this is access network. And then this access network is connected using router, is connected to the internet, to the core, the core part of the internet, the core part, okay? Uh, Wi-Fi, so we use Wi-Fi all the time. Also, Wi-Fi has a certain speed. So, so we have here uh, a router, this one here, we, co we call it a router, right? So you connect your, you connect your device uh, to, to it to connect it to the internet. So this is access network. So the, this busy station actually connected me to the router. Okay, so uh, so now, so now I'm gonna focus more on the core part of the backbone part. Okay, here this core part, uh, the core part here. As I told you, if one computer here wanna communicate with a computer here, all what you have to, you have to send your you have to send a message, and then this message has to go through different ways until it is until it is delivered here. You, you got him saying, uh, so. There are two ways to do that. There is one way you could circuit switch it and another way packet switching. You are familiar with these two terms? Oh, okay. So I'm going to explain them. It's, it's, they are not difficult, but I will do my best. Circuit switching is switching and packet switching. You never heard about it? Network one. Okay, anyway, I'm going to explain it. So let's let's see what are the difference between, between both of them. It's switching. So again, look. You can see from the English thing. So these are two different ways to switch. These are two different ways to connect to computers together. Two different ways. Okay. Uh, so let's start with the circuit switching. Circuit switches was actually it, it is used in case of tel telephone uh, telephone network. Okay. When you it is actually designed for voice communication for voice communication. And then for data communication. For data communication, we found circuit switching is bad. That's why they made packet switching. Okay, you are saying voice communication and 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 the data communication. What is the difference between them? In case of voice, like when you use when you use a, a phone, when you use a phone, you could you, you dial a number, you dial a number, and then you are gonna talk. All the time you are gonna talk. You you got what I'm saying? Once you finish, you are gonna ha hang up. Okay. But in case of data, that's what we do in the internet. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'm not gonna use the internet right now. And then for, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do uh, check my email. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna need to use I'm gonna I'm gonna use some bandwidth. And then um, I need number one I need to be connected all the time. But I, I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna I'm not gonna communicate. I'm not gonna uh, send the data all the time like voice. So in case in case of voice, once you dial a number, you are gonna send data all the time, right? But in case of data, no, you may maybe ninety percent of the time you don't need you don't need to use the network. So it's completely different. Okay. Uh, 
So let's start with the first one. Again, circuit switches, guys, was, was designed for voice communication for phones, okay? You, when you dial a number, when you dial a number, actually what happens is that you are gonna, this is switches, we have a number of switches as you see here, okay? These switches are different from what I explained because there is no packets. It's different from the switches I explained to you before, okay? This, so this switch is actually is gonna create physical, this very important word, physical wire, physical line between you and the other side. So the two phones, there is a wire between the physical wire. You got what I'm saying? So once you dial a number, you actually is gonna create a wire between you and the other phone. And then once you have this wire, you can actually transmit, you can actually transmit data to the other side. Is that okay? Once you finish, this is the most important thing, okay? This wire is for you. If you use it or don't use it, it is for you. No one else can use it. Once you finish, once you finish your phone call, so this wire now is free. I can give it to someone else. That's why you are seeing in case of certain switches, you have a dedicated resources. So you have you have to, the wire means resources because it means bandwidth. It means some frequencies. Are, I'm gonna give you some bandwidth. It's for you. You got what I'm saying? No one, no one can share, share with you. Okay, if you use it or not, it's for you. But because this is voice communication, I'm, I'm sure you are going to use it all the time. Is that okay? Uh, this is the idea of circuit switching. Um, how? Mo, 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 we cannot share, share it because you are you. I'm assuming you are using it. You got what I'm saying? And that's what we do in voice in 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 in, in case of voice communication. Okay. Okay, so this is circuit switch. In case of packet switching, and that's what we use in the internet. Okay, in case of packet switching, there is no there is no wire. I'm not gonna reserve resources for you. If you wanna communicate, just send this back. Just send. I will do my best. The net the internet is telling you. If you have data, just just transmit the data. And I don't guarantee anything for you. I don't guarantee, but I promise I will do my best to get your packets delivered. But I may drop them. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna give you, I'm, there is no reservation. You are gonna, you are not gonna reserve any resource. That is why it is possible after you transmit some packets, these packets are dropped, okay? That is why in case of uh, static, static uh, sorry, in case of packet switching, we actually share resources, share. W what do you mean by share? I mean, um, for example, if I don't transmit, if I don't transmit now any packets, someone else can transmit, okay? And you can use the, the complete bandwidth because no one else is using it. Anyway, I'm gonna clarify it more, but again, for now, for, uh, because that's what I'm gonna build on this one. The main difference is that in case of circuit switching, okay, there is reservation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you dedicated, this is for you. No one else will use it, okay? But in case of packet switch, I'm not gonna give you anything. You just, you transmit, okay? And maybe the other people are not transmitting and uh, uh, I have a lot of resources. I'm gonna take your data, I'm gonna deliver all of them. Maybe, maybe more other people are transmitting data as well and I am overwhelmed. So I'm gonna drop your bucket. I can't do anything for you. You got what I'm saying? That's what we call bucket switch. Okay. So before, also there is something we call multiplexing and demultiplexing. So what is the main idea of multiplexing and demultiplexing? For example, if you have a cable, if you have a cable here, and this cable has very high, very high speed. Okay. So actually what we do, we collect the data. We collect the data from different computers and then we, we do multiplexing. Multiplexing means I'm going to add this to the data, data processor and then I'm going to transmit using this very high speed uh, cable. And then I have to do the opposite here. I have to do demultiplexing here. You got what I'm saying? Uh, so, and in order to do this kind of multiplexing, there are two ways. One way is called, okay, again. So, why we need multiplexing and demultiplexing? Simply because I have a cable. This cable has very high speed. I can give you all this speed. You got what I'm saying? 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take data from you, I'm gonna take data from other, I'm gonna do speed of data, I'm gonna use the high speed, and then I have to distribute this to the same back here. Okay. So uh, so in order to do that, usually there are two ways. One, one way is called frequency division multi multiplexing. You I think you should be familiar with something like that. Frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the idea, okay? So the idea here is that we have here, this cable has a range of frequencies, has a range of frequencies. So here, I'm gonna distribute the frequency. So here, every user, we have four users here. So every user is gonna, is gonna take some, some frequencies. When I say I'm gonna give you some frequencies, that means you are gonna have a certain speed. It's like I'm gonna distribute the speed. You get what I'm saying? The more frequencies you have, the more speed you have. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do here, in case of frequency division, I'm gonna divide the frequencies as you see here. This user is gonna take a certain range of frequencies, this one, but you are gonna use it all the time. So I'm gonna give you limited speed, limited speed, but you are gonna use it all the time. The other idea is called time division multiplexing. Time, you can tell from the name time. So what happens here, I'm gonna give you all the frequencies but in a certain time, you get what I'm saying? So you can send too many, too, too many information, but just in a short period of time. So here, you can transmit here, someone will transmit here, someone. So I'm here, you're gonna divide the time, you're gonna divide the frequency. What is that? No, so it's just two different approaches. In order to share the cable, in order to share the cable, we can share it in two different approaches. Okay, so you can transmit, you can, you can use the full power or the full speed, you can use the full speed of the cable, but for a short period of time, and this is your turn. You can see here the same user, you have this time slot, you have this time slot, you have this time slot, this time slot. You get what I'm saying? And every time you, you have the full speed. Here, no, you can transmit all the time, all the time you can transmit, but you have a limited speed. Is that okay? Anyway, this, these are two different approaches for multiplexing, to, for sharing the cable. You got it? Uh, both, both are okay. I don't see any difference. So maybe it depends on the application or whatever, but both are okay. okay? Anyway, so see you next time. So I already, for the every lecture, I record them, I put it in YouTube. So and you have... In, in, the, in, the, in the first lecture, I give you uh, the link on YouTube to see the videos, okay? If you need, for sure.